Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Monday, the 28th day of October. Here we go. Today's halacha is about stepping forward to Shmona Esrei. The halacha is that you should step forward to your Shmona Esrei with three steps, with the right step happening first. That's to show that you're anxious to come towards the Shekhinah, the presence of God, to pray. And by stepping forward with your right foot, righty or lefty, <laughs> stepping forward with your right foot first is a sign of being anxious to go towards what you're doing. Uh, conversely, when you finish the Shemona Esrei, it is appropriate to step back with your left foot first, whether you're a lefty or righty, left foot first, because that shows that you're not so anxious to step away from the presence of the Shekhinah. Now back to when you're stepping forward to your Shemona Esrei, you should first, um, first take your three steps forward, and then say, Baruch atah Hashem ga'al Yisrael, Hashem Svasai Tiftach. You may not be used to that. It may sound a little bit weird what I'm saying. But you see, once you say the words Ga'al Yisrael, you must immediately, immediately begin your Shemona Esrei. Our Chazal, the rabbis, tell us all over the place that Ga'al Yisrael must be directly attached to your Shemona Esrei. Therefore, it is appropriate to take those three steps forward first before the words Baruch Ata Hashem Ga'al Yisrael so that you step forward, you're standing in the ready position, and then you say, Baruch Ata Hashem Ga'al Yisrael Hashem Sefasai Tiftach. That's the way it's supposed to work. You may not be used to this, and it may sound a little bit strange to you, but it's because it's ever so important that Ga'al Yisrael be attached to your Shemona Esrei. That's why we recommend that you take the three steps forward first. If you look in the laws about all the places where you're not allowed to interrupt, like don't say Amen if you hear another Amen, or don't say Amen Yehishmei Rabbah if you hear a Kaddish. Well, those laws are strictest between Ga'al Yisrael and Shemon Esra. You pretty much don't respond to any other thing in davening going on. If you hear a Kaddish or you hear somebody put on tefillin or whatever, you don't answer Amen to anything or you don't say Baruch to the minion next door. Nothing between the words Ga'al Yisrael and the beginning of your Shemon Esra. Thanks for logging on and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.